Hey you guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna start off right where the last one ended. If you haven't checked that one out yet, I suggest you go do so. It's a bit of a long video, but definitely worth a watch. I've been getting lots of good feedback on it, and I greatly appreciate that. But we're gonna start this video off right where that one ended, to catch you guys all up to where I am right now, eventually, within the next few videos. And I'm hoping you will all enjoy the ride as much as I have. See you guys all soon. Regardless of what happens here, regardless if I turn around and go right back to the campsite, for these 10 days, I was free. Completely free. As most of you suspected, her transmission was done and she could not drive her car any longer. So on this little side road, we swapped everything she owned from her car over to my van with a goal in mind to be heading off to Vancouver Island very soon. It was definitely an overwhelming situation. She handled it very well. But unfortunately, it was time for her and the freestyler to finally part ways. But before we go anywhere, I had to do a few things back at the camp spot. Because as you all know, I was not only building my van, but my friend Ben was rebuilding his engine as well. On top of that, a number of other projects were going on around the area. But with some elbow grease, in just a little under three days, we managed to get everything from the tents back into the van and prepare for a road trip. Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going on an adventure. Been actually hard at work here, tinkering with the van. My uh, two tents here, starting to put stuff in and uh, organize the storage of the van and uh, build the whole thing out. I am not gonna show you guys any of that today. Today, like I said, we're going on an adventure. I will get more into this in a video to come because I would like to complete process of it, processes of it before showing. So. Thank you guys all so much for the love and support on the previous videos. I greatly appreciate that. We will get more into the van build coming up. But right now, like I said, I'd like to go do some adventuring since I'm finally as out of the city, which I'm very excited about. And uh, yeah, hang in there because the adventures are about to begin. Happy Canada Day, everybody. And as for me, everyone knows how much I love racing. So seeing some Canada Day races was right up my alley. I hope you all enjoy this as much as I did watching it. Car racing was in its infancy. 
after our races here today, after the final feature, you can head down to the pit area and have a close look at these cars and talk to the drivers again. You didn't get a chance to see your favorites. Thank you Drumheller indeed. It's definitely been a blast hanging out in this area. I have never been to Drumheller before this and I would highly suggest checking it all out. There's tons of really cool dinosaurs all over town, a huge dinosaur in the center, and there's a bunch of really cool hoodoos and a big celebration for Canada Day. Drumheller, you've definitely been a blast. But now it's time to get back and get ready to hit the road.
After leaving Drumheller and heading back to the campsite, we finished up Ben's engine. That was running good. Mr. Blur installed his hockey puck DIY roof rack to hold his huge 390 watt solar panel. Chris scored a job in town and had to head off. And it was looking more and more like we were ready to hit the road. I need to get a piece to go from here to the other side. Front guard. We'll do that soon. been a real blast hanging out here with Randy and the guys. I really appreciate Randy showing us this area. Never would have found this if it wasn't for him. I greatly appreciate that brother. And I'll definitely have this place pinned and uh, if I'm ever strolling back through, I would definitely stop in. Um, I'm not gonna mention where it's too, so I don't wanna give it away to spot, you know? It's a beautiful spot and it deserves to stay private to those who know where it is. It's not many of those spots nowadays and I think we should preserve them when we have them just you know all the nice little fire pits and stuff it's beautiful people tend to take care of the spot except for the bathrooms <laughs> but nonetheless it's a beautiful spot and uh i greatly cherish everybody that we've met here and i look forward to coming back one day but it's time to move on it's time to hit the road again for a new adventure and uh, I'm not gonna say where I'm going, but by the direction, you guys will know. <laughs> so, time to hit the road. Goodbye, Lake. Thanks for all the fish we couldn't catch. <laughs> After quickly installing a temporary roof rack system to hold the stuff I did not install before leaving, and also installing a proper passenger seat into my van, well, a middle seat anyway, it was time to hit the road in the direction of Vancouver Island. First stop, Calgary. After failing to say goodbye to Zora, we quickly headed off for Calgary because we had a deadline to make and somewhere to be in the city that we were technically already late for. But I mean, when does anything ever go to plan in van life? All I know is I'm super excited for this road trip and I'm glad to have you all right here by my side on YouTube. But until next time everybody, remember, never give up on living life because life truly is the most precious thing we have.